on Syria now and the violence has prompted the creation of another opposition group. The so-called Revolutionary Trustees Council met in Cairo and appointed Hatem al-Mala to form a government in exile. Now he split from the opposition Syrian National Council in March, uh, which makes it all very interesting. So let's speak to Radwan Ziada, who's from the SNC and joins us now live from Washington. Welcome to the program, Mr. Ziada. It's good to see you there. Uh, so you're from the SNC. Al-Mala used to be part of your group, and now he's peeled off. He's set up this uh, alternative organization and uh, has been appointed to set up a government in exile in Cairo. What do you make of that? We, we think that uh, any, any uh, formation of any government in exile need more consultation with different groups, basically for the revolutionary councils in different cities in Syria. Uh, this is why we are in contact with Haytham al-Malih to see that, uh, because we think that this step is very un, uh, advanced since still Damascus and other places still in hold of the Assad regime. I yeah, but he's got, he's got a pretty good exile. background, hasn't he? He does have a pretty good background, human rights background, part of um, the opposition since the 1980s. He's always been in opposition to the government. He sounds like the ideal guy to set up a, a cohesive opposition unit, doesn't he? Of course, he's a very credible person and well respected in Syria and outside Syria. Uh, no, no, no one is argue about that. But having a step to be announced, a government in exile without consultation and debate, uh, and discussion with others, uh, that creates more division among the opposition. This is why we said that we are very open uh, to announce and to form a transitional government, but we need to consult with other groups in the opposition. Uh, and, and we form a committee just to study what the criteria, what the mandate should be for any government in exile. But isn't it this because exactly, at forgive, the end me, we forgive me for interrupting, but isn't this exactly the problem here, that there is no united front amongst the opposition, and it's about time that uh, somebody stepped forward and, and presented a front that people could uh, coalesce behind, if you like. But at the end, how, how, what, what can this, any government in exile can deliver if it has no credibility and if if get no recognition from the international community, then what, what the government in exile can do? It's more about press conferences. Not th this is not the idea. The idea that you have to form a government in exile or transitional government, get a full recognition from all the allies of the Syrian people, then it can be operated. It can be do something for the Syrian people on the humanitarian side and m mainly bo to bring more actions and to mobilize the international community to take actions against the Assad regime. Not, on, not only just to announce up to air a government in exile which has no mandate, no credibility and can deliver nothing to the Syrian people.